finally, what is a realm of the most brilliant combination of various releasing stimuli triggering fixed action patterns out the wazoo? What baby animals look like in every species out there short of crocodiles and snakes? All the baby animals in all the different species have the little short muzzles and the big round eyes and the big shiny forehead and the big ears sticking out there and maybe a distinctive coloration that sets them off different from mom, from adults. And every species, you take some incredibly cute baby monkey and polar bears are going to say, Oh, look how cute. And their eyes are going to dilate their pupils, and you are going to elicit cute responses. The term, the set of fixed action patterns that people and all sorts of species do in response to the releasing stimuli of a cute baby. And I kid you not, the early generations of Disney illustrators studied this. They studied what it is that makes baby faces baby. And an amazing paper, classic one by Stephen Jay Gould, talking about Mickey Mouse, the evolution of Mickey Mouse. If you go back to when Mickey Mouse started off in, I don't know, the 1920s or so, his name was Steamboat Willie, and he was this rat. He was this like skinny, angular, ectomorphic rat thing with five fingers. And he had, he was basically sort of this double entendreing, sort of mildly sexual, aggressive beast who was always like ripping people off somehow. And somehow he turned from that into our Mickey, who delights, you know, people all. And what Gould showed was in this paper, he actually showed the evolution of Mickey Mouse's muzzle as over the decades, showing how it was getting smaller and the ratio of the forehead to this. And somewhere along the way, Mickey lost one of his fingers. And somewhere along the way, his voice got real prepubescent, which it wasn't early on. And suddenly, the oh so chaste, mysterious mini shows up. And and all they ever do is sing and dance. And this amazing paper on how the Disney artists eventually learned what is it about baby animals that makes everybody want to be around them. So we see here the releasing stimuli. Next thing after the break, what's going on in the head in between the releasing stimulus and out comes the fixed action pattern. OK, so five minutes. <laughs>